How Ridiculous, and we're from Perth in Western Australia. Scott and Kyle went to school together, and me and Brett were very close to our church. We do trick shots, and we just generally try and do um, ridiculous stuff that people are going to find entertaining. We want to show people that there's a way to do something that you've never seen before, and we want to show people a, a unique way of doing things. Our previous world record was for 66.89 metres, and that was the greatest height from which a basketball's been scored. We've been flown over here by Bavaria to take a shot off the Euro mast, and that's 104 metres tall, so we're going to beat our own record, hopefully. Next ball, please. Keep it rolling. Here we go. And three, two, one, action. So the first video that we, that we put out was based around the homes. We created the video with the intention that it would be cool for our friends. With one of our first few videos, um, someone actually commented on YouTube and was like, oh, can I make a donation to you guys so that you can keep doing this? Um, so at that stage, Scott and Brett both had sponsored children with Charity Compassion. Um, so Brett thought it would be a good idea to just donate the money straight to them. Let's do something with this money that we can actually benefit other people when... And yeah, so early on in the piece, like, we got a few hundred views from friends on Facebook and whatnot, and then, then we're like, no, nah, let's make a new video, we need to go bigger. We thought, landmark, the Perth city skyline, off the bridge, and yeah, we just nailed this shot, and he got a bit of notoriety within our city. And then we got contacted by a local news presenter, and yeah, that was kind of our first milestone moving up. We went from there. We only had at most three hours in the morning to do it. We just needed to have balls continuously coming up the elevator once we'd shot them. So it was obviously really important to have a lot of people down on the ground to gather all the balls, put them in the bags and bring them up in the lifts. So by the time we'd thrown half the balls, the other half were already at the top again. that initial hesitation where we'd seen it hit the ring and we're like we don't really know if it's gone in and we kind of threw our hands up and looked at each other and mm. then we realized oh yeah it's, it's gone in so then <laughs> it just goes to show how high up we were that you know we, we couldn't fully lock in that yes that it has actually gone through the hoop so it gives you an idea of how amazing the shot is there's no exact formula of throw it like this and it's going to go in, there's obviously that little bit of luck in it as well. We're just everyday guys that believe that we can do something and there's a reason we want to do it so that we go out and do it because a lot of people wouldn't spend an hour and a half or two hours trying to shoot a basketball off the Euromask. People aren't interested in that but we've got the, I suppose, the opportunity to do it and we've got the energy and the, the drive to actually go out there and do it and because we want to see it happen. We're trying to show people the coolest way that you can possibly do something. Oh! Oh, yeah.